It's back. Sunscreen Saturday is back. The weather is getting warmer and I got sunburn yesterday. I took Lucy for a walk. It was 5.30, right? So I had put on my sunscreen ages before and I know to reapply, especially as the days become longer. So I used my Super Goop powder on my face. I also had a mask, sunglasses, and a hat, so my face is pretty good. And I was wearing a shirt up to here, but I didn't put anything on my neck, which is now killing me. And this is partly because I've been putting retinol on my neck. So retinol makes you more sensitive to sun. I'm sure if I hadn't had retinol on, it wouldn't be hurting and more red than usual. But uh, I thought, yeah, let's get back into Sunscreen Saturday, shall we? Today, I am presenting something to you that I saw at my CVS a couple of days ago, and it was attractive to me, I have to admit, because I love these pastel colors. It's pretty easy to get a chick, you know what I mean? All you have to do is understand what attracts them. Like, oh, pretty, what is this? Oh, no, okay, I'm going to do this. It says, oh, it says, put on your glasses. Invisible Daily Defense lotion. Broad spectrum SPF 30. Sun and environmental protection avobenzone free. Now what they mean by environment protection is there's antioxidants in here but I couldn't find a list that is you know large enough for me to read. I mean this is so small you guys. Water, glycerin, and dimethicone, and plus it's in white, making it very hard to read. I usually would type this out, but obviously I didn't today. Alcohol Denat, which I don't really love. But uh, yeah, there's tocopherol, which is one of the antioxidants. It's, it's oh, yeah, fever view. It, you know, it, it's not that hot, but it is what it is. But I want to tell you what they are saying. Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense Sunscreen Body Lotion. It doesn't say body anywhere on here, you guys. It just says lotion, which is interesting. And um, I wish that it had, because maybe I wouldn't have bought it. Maybe I would have. And apparently what they have is in the same line they have a face serum. So I am going to definitely check that out. This is SPF 30. So, it, you know, this is for more of a daily use kind of a thing. We are going to put it on the face because that's what I bought it for, but we're going to put it on the body too. Because if you are anything like me, you're inside and outside, like I'm watering and sometimes I go outside just to get some sun rays, not for the tan, but for my emotional health, you know, for the vitamin D. And then I come inside, and if I know I'm going to be outside, sometimes I will sunscreen my body. But generally speaking, body sunscreens are really sticky, and then I get on my sofa, and it's like, oh, if I lean backwards, I'm going to get this all over my sofa, which, you know, who wants that? So I'm going to try it on the face and on the arms. Let's see what happens. If you don't know the drill, this is a quarter teaspoon and there are studies and whatnot and formulas online you can find. I can't remember. It has something like two squared per square centimeter, uh, two parts. I don't, I don't remember, but what it comes down to, a quarter teaspoon for your face and probably for women for your face and neck. For a man, this would be the face and it's pink. They are just marketing this to me, man. Okay, so this looks like 2D fruity. This smells like 2D fruity. There's no reason for that. And I put this in the measuring spoon so you can get an idea of what the proper amount looks like in the hand. Because I, I know by now, right? That's a quarter teaspoon. That is for your face and your neck. It's not goopy or sticky or icky like other Neutrogena's we tried in the series. This is nice. And you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I have no idea who's talking out there. It could be the construction workers. It doesn't leave a white cast. This is chemical. 
if you have a problem with chemical, it's not for you. And I had already moisturized and prepared for this. And this just sinks in really super nice. So this is, you guys, avobenzone. This is so hard to read even with this magnifying glass. Homosalate, octisalate, and octicryline. Let's put it on the body. I do not like the scent. That's, that's a little hard for me. But I have, you know, I like to push up my sleeves. So many people do. And even if I'm just being a regular person, I'm not uh, working in the garden or taking the dog for a walk. I have a lot of sun damage on my arms just from years of not protecting that area. I have to say, if it weren't for the scent, this would be fantastic for just on the body. It is just sinking in and it feels softening, although we know there's alcohol to that in here, so it's not that great for you. And get some on the hands because why not? And get some on the chest because the chest, the chest is red. So, so far, this is what I think. It works on the face. It absolutely does. The scent is a little, it's a little gross. It's a little tutti fruity, and I could do without it. You know, if you're going to have a scent, make it very faint, and make it something, you know, less aggressive in its composure, like no fruits. A lot of people don't like fruits and no florals. So, in other words, don't do scented. All right. It's kind of stinging my neck, but everything does. I mean, when I did my skincare this morning, my essence stung my neck, so that's not unusual. I'm gonna wipe off my hands, and we're gonna put on some foundation and see what happens. So I haven't worn the Givenchy in a while, you guys, because I've been testing something else, and that video is for the Dior, which I don't know if I put it up already or not. And I haven't put this on in quite some time either because I've been doing a lot of foundations. So I, I can't decide. This is full coverage. Hmm. Maybe I'll kind of mix them because why not? So I did a pump of each and truly this is sunken in and there is glycerin which is nice. So you're getting a little bit of moisturizing or hydration from that. And it doesn't feel slippy at all. It doesn't feel tightening or drying either. It's just sunken in, which is nice, especially like the foundation that I just um, put up. Actually, I think it was this, the Givenchy. I said it depends on your sunscreen. If you use something dimethicone, it's not going to stay on when you put on a mask and has to be powdered if you use something very hydrating. But this feels like it would kind of keep everything on my face. I'm gonna pull down a little bit because of this tragic neck situation here. Okay. Okay, no problems. I mean, I did do a formula that I've never done before, so I do need to check for fingerprints. I like these two together. It's a little, it's a little weird around the nose. I oftentimes have issues around the nose, and I always have issues on the chin. My chin just does not accept foundation very well. It'll look like, oh yeah, it's on there, but it's the first place to disappear. And now I'm flaking right here from the retinal. There's like a, a skid right here where the retinal's like, let me eat at your skin. Um, hi. No problems with that at all. So, yeah, this is what I think for the body. 
It just feels soft. It doesn't feel sticky. I like that. And I did have a little bit of lotion on, and there's no issues between this and the lotion. So this might be something I could feel comfortable wearing with my clothes, where I feel like most body sunscreens are made for being in the sun, for going to the beach, going to the lake, going to the pool, you know, basically being outside activity, sports, and they're sticky and they're heavy, but they're not necessarily for, I'm just going to go run errands, but I'm going to be wearing a maxi dress with spaghetti straps and I want to protect my upper body without having to put on a sweater when it's 90 degrees outside. Do you know what I mean? So this might actually suit that very, very well. Um, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I am going to get the serum so we can try that. It's specifically made for the face and hopefully it's not as scented because the scent's a little yucky. And I had put on perfume this morning, so now I don't know what I'm smelling anymore. It's just like I'm scented in a way that I'm not appreciating. <laughs> but uh, you know what? It, it worked really, really well. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. And yeah, in a pinch, you could certainly put this on your face as well. I don't think you need to be in a pinch. I think you could put this on the face. Especially if, for instance, you can't smell anything at all, then that's not going to bother you. If you like minerals, forget it. But it feels great on the body. It feels great on the face. It sunk right in. It didn't give me the feeling of being emollient, that my um, sun, my foundation couldn't adhere to it, that it was slipping around, except right on the nose, which is probably my fault. But, uh, yeah, there you have it, you guys. Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense lotion. This is for body, even though it doesn't say body anywhere on it. And this is SPF 30. So to me, this is intended for your daily wear and yay, you can protect your arms. And I mean, I have had skin cancer removed from my arms. I don't remember where. I think it was right here. But as you can see, there's stuff going on here, you guys. This is years of just wearing short sleeves, or pulling, pressing up my sleeves, and we need to protect that area for sure. That's it, you guys. Welcome back to Sunscreen Saturday, and maybe the next one will be the face version, the serum of this. Maybe it won't. I did get two things at CVS, so maybe that will be it. And this for sale is coming up. The Sephora sale, I decided there's really not much I want. At Sephora right now, there's not much coming out, and I decided I, I'm just going to do sunscreens. So I'm going to do sunscreens that are in that Sephora range, which are more expensive. They're more in the $30 range, $30, $40 range. I believe the sunscreen should be available to everyone because everybody needs to protect their skin from the harmful rays. It can cause skin cancer. It can uh, photo aging. You age much more when you are exposed to the sun. It damages the UVA rays go below your upper dermis and go deep into the skin and cause damage to your DNA and to your collagen and elastin. It's not a good thing. Now, we know everybody needs to wear it, but $30 when you're wearing the correct amount, a quarter teaspoon, is going to go pretty fast. So I like the Asians because they have the next generation sun blockers and they're less expensive. They're more democratic because it's more acceptable, I think, in Asia for women to put on sunscreen. I, don't, I wonder if men do. But anyway, uh, that's kind of why I stay in this range, but I am going to buy several things that are more expensive than this at Sephora and we'll do some Sephora sunscreen stuff. But if you have any ideas in the Asian sunscreen zone, let me know below and I'll consider it. I'll take a look and decide, do I want this, do I not? And that's gonna be it, you guys. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. I'm wishing you good health and wear your sunscreen.